Hey everybody, thanks for watching. I really appreciate all the awesome comments that you guys are leaving on my videos and I'm glad that some people are enjoying them as much as I enjoy making and watching them. And it's a lot of work to make them, but I really don't mind because like I said, I enjoy watching them myself. Uh, now, you know, you just saw one of my little miniature schnauzers walk under the table. The black and white one is Lil Joe. And if you see the gray one, the salt and pepper, her name is Willow. But I have something a little bit unusual for myself today, and that's an unboxing video. I figure, why not? I got enough people watching my channel now, and if it's helpful, then that's awesome. So this is what I'm unboxing. It's the AX6600 Tri-Band Wi-Fi 6 Gaming Router. This has got 6.6 .6 gigabit speeds, it's got a game accelerator. It's got a two and a half gig Ethernet ports. I think it's even got one that's higher. I'm not sure. It says pure gaming, pure immersion. It's number one customer satisfaction. Well, okay, number one customer satisfaction. Anybody says that. But I do know that everything I read says that this is the beast to get. If you're going to get a router, this is the one. And it came in today. And this is it here. Now, why am I doing this? I'll, I use Steam VR with the Oculus app Virtual Desktop. The way that functions is my computer playing Microsoft Flight Sim sends the screen data to the router. Now, my current router is the one that the ISP gave me. It's very basic. And I have a Cat 8, which is, I think, a 40 gigabit cable from my laptop directly into that router. And then the router uses the Wi-Fi to send the video signal to my Oculus headset. So there's latency there, and that latency is due to the fact that it's going over Wi-Fi. It's traveling from the router, which is way down in the other corner of the house. Still a decent signal. But it's limited. It's very limited. And if I have my other computers on or the TV or anything else using bandwidth, then I start losing bandwidth. And so I would not expect any sort of an increase in the frames per second. But I am expecting a decrease in my latency and hopefully an increase in the graphics. Um, when I'm flying a lot of times, as I'm coming to the scenery, I can kind of see it filling in a little bit. And I'm expecting that this is going to go away. So it's a one and a half gigahertz quad core CPU processor in this monster. It's got a two and a half gig port. And then it's got USB 3 and USB 2. So wireless specification is 5 gigahertz, 4804 megabits per second. Then 5 gigahertz, 1200 megabits per second, and 574. It's got one 2.5 gig WAN LAN port, one gigabit WAN LAN port, and three gigabit LAN ports. Yeah, that is a mouthful there, isn't it? So 5 gigahertz gaming band. That's what that says. Let me zoom in a little bit. There we go. So, ultra fast gaming Wi-Fi for total dominance. Not that I need dominance. I just want to fly. It's uh, higher speeds create less congestion. Yes, yes, yes. One dedicated gaming band with HT160. And I do not know what that is yet. I don't know a lot about this specifically. It offers 4.8 gigabits per second of bandwidth. So it's got a gaming band that offers almost five gig of bandwidth. And this is going to have nothing on it but my computer that plays Microsoft Flight Sim or DCS World. I, I, I play that too. Those are the two Sims. And those are the only two things on my computer with the exception of a couple of accessory programs that I use to make my videos and so forth. But that's it, and that's all that's going to be on this router. I am not going to let any of my other devices connect to this router. Even though it says it can do all home. But anyhow, so let me zoom back out, and let's go ahead and get this open. Oh, this is a Cat8 cable, and I have one of these, like I said, that's running down to my router now. And that's going to feed my LAN port on this. 
this is going to go from my laptop into this, into the three and a half, uh, the two and a half gig port. And then this is going to sit about six feet away from my, my Oculus headset. So I, like I said, I'm hoping to see a big difference in the latency results due to this. If you're ever looking for a good knife, a good quality knife, this is made by BPS Knives. This is a solid tang all the way through. It's got two bolts, but it is solid. The grip is really nice, although I kind of sanded it down a little bit. But I have never in my life had a sharper knife. And this baby is thick. This could actually be used to split small logs. Um, it's a it's a survival knife. So BPS knives, great knives. Just thought I'd mention it in case somebody out there says, geez, I wonder what knife he is using as someone is wont to do. Now I shouldn't need the knife anymore. So I am going to put this back in my sheath over here. And like I said, it's the sharpest knife I've ever had. Even out of the box, I was able to shave my arm with it. It's it's really, really a sharp knife. Now, I am going to have another unboxing tomorrow because... Uh, suction. Uh, okay, there we go. The delivery for tomorrow... It's going to be my Reverb G2 headset. So I'm really, really excited about that. And I'm still going to keep my Quest because there's some great Quest options out there for games. Plus my nephew has a Quest and we get together with it. So I'm going to definitely keep it. And when I do settings, I'll try and do settings for the Quest as well as the Reverb. Because there's a lot of people out there that already do settings for the Reverb. So I may just keep it to the quest so kind of neat open sesame it's all coming together install tether okay so tether is an app that you have to use on your phone and then you can do the setup in there so i may record that as well um turn on game accelerator turn on the game protector everything unlocked boom okay so here we go Nice packaging, really nice packaging. All right, we got a quick installation guide. Huh? There's all the antennas down there. I think there's eight of them here. Uh, yeah, I think eight. <laughs> so this must be the power cord in here. So let's go ahead and let's see. Get the power cord out. Okay. Yep, okay. The power cord and a doubt this is a cable I'd want to use other than as a spear. This is probably only a Cat 6 or a Cat 5, right? Uh, Cat 5E. Okay, yeah, so I wouldn't use that cable anyways. So we got the power supply here. Get rid of some of the trash. I can't draw it down on the floor like I would just because my dogs will go after it. So we got a power supply, quick installation guide. Uh, as you can see, very quick, and it's just one page, <laughs> one piece of paper. The box itself here, and then the antennas. So let's go ahead and I like to let the game begin. I tell you, some of the boxes that they send now are just such high quality. It's, a, it's amazing the quality that they put it into the boxes themselves. Um, all right, so let me go ahead and put these aside for right now. Give my dog something to sniff. All right, nice, nice anti-static bag. Very important, and I like that. So, so there it is. Obviously, no antennas on it yet. And we got some buttons there. USB 2, USB 3. Okay, so here's the WAN ports and LAN ports. So this says 2.5 gig WAN LAN, 1 gig Land land power on off antennas antennas and there's some buttons here um, I can't make those out but they're probably for the uh, WPS and so forth and all that and then there's the USB 3 and 2 ports 
Okay. And like I said, these, we have the antennas. Nice packaging, and these these guys are heavy. They're solid. They feel very solid. Okay, nothing else in there. And these, I think, just snap on. I don't. Even, yeah, these just snap on, like a so. And I know there was a version of this, I think the previous version maybe of this, the antennas folded down, but I don't believe they fold on this one, but they just, they just snap in easy. I'm gonna make sure they're going in there. Get rid of a couple bags. So There it is. It's a monster, isn't it? Look at this thing. So that is the new wireless router, my Archer. AX6600 Tri-Band Wi-Fi 6 Gaming Router. I will get this hooked up. And I will get an update out there as to is it worth it was it worth spending the 250 i think 260 dollars i'll let you know hey thanks for watching and we'll see you in the skies so a quick addendum to the end of the video you can see i did get it connected that top device is my oculus the bottom device is my laptop and you can see the transmit receive rate on that Oculus connection is 1.2 gig. That's what 1200 megabits per second is. That's a gig of transmit and receive on that wireless. And yes, it is making a tremendous difference. My frame rates have not changed. I did not expect them to because this really doesn't have a lot of bearing on that. The graphics quality is improved and the latency, well, look, I mean, you can see it here. Okay, this is after I named the device on the panel. 4.413 uh, milliseconds is my latency. I'm usually around 90 milliseconds. So this is a tremendous, tremendous boost. Now, I'm going to test it some more, but so far what I'm seeing is smoother flight and better graphics. The scenery is not loading as I'm coming to it. It's already loaded when I get to it. So, again, I'll, I'll have more, but big, big difference so far.